I guess not. Okay, we'll go to uh, David Chandler at the Boston. And we isolated the problem down to a misconfiguration of the mechanism that moves information between two parts of our software on board the spacecraft. Um, we were able to create a fix for that very quickly, and we uplinked the, the majority of that on the night of, on Friday night, which was Sol 15. Um, we discovered that one of the pieces of it that had gone to the spacecraft hadn't made it in, so we repeated, we, uh, we took, because of the operations problems we had on Saturday, we repeated that part on Sunday, and then we went through the process of building the change software on the spacecraft, and then we did the reset Sunday night. Now, I'm very pleased to report that as of this morning, we have confirmation that we do have the new software running on board. Um, we have, uh, the problem was related to taking ASI met instrument measurements, and we have done that all night long with no problems whatsoever. So I'm very pleased to report that. Pathfinder is the first, not only in that it deployed the first wheeled vehicle on another planet, but it's also the first use of solar power on the surface of Mars. In fact, the first use of solar power uh, on any planet other than the Earth. And it has been an outstanding success for solar panels. The amount of dust that's leaving the atmosphere is entirely consistent with the amount that's in the atmosphere. In other words, we're depositing dust uh, right here on the poles, and we seem, uh, sorry, right here in the tropics, and we seem to be depositing an amount that's exactly consistent with the amount that's in the atmosphere.